Hi, I'm Rob Austin. The BTCC season is finally here. We're here at Brands Hatch, the first race. The sun's out, it's beautiful weather. The fans are here, they're going crazy. And this is my top 10 things you need to know about BTCC. So, first thing you need to know, the reason that the BTCC is so exciting is it's about close, hard racing. Contact, wing mirrors flying everywhere, panels bumping into each other, it's carnage. Number two, the grid is absolutely packed. We've got 11 manufacturers from Audi, Honda, MG, and we've got 31 drivers in those different cars, all fighting to win. Number three, on that big pack grid, we've got 17 teams all working their asses off to develop these racing cars, spending hundreds of thousands of pounds on development to beat each other. Number four, 31 drivers, grid is packed, and these are world-class drivers. One of the new ones to this grid is my new teammate, Hunter Abbott. Hey Hunter, looking forward to your first round. Very much so. There we go. Fact number five is tyres. Dunlop is the tyre supplier for the British Touring Car Championship, and this weekend they'll supply and fit over 580 tyres to the whole paddock. At the moment, they've all been fitted, so the guys are, are obviously flat out sat around doing bugger all. Um, this is Mickey, he's in charge of Dunlop UK. How are you feeling about this weekend? I'll be glad when it's over. I'm always, <laughs> I'm always nervous to the first one, but no, we'll be okay. I think the weather's going to help. I think the kids are all back from, from the summer holidays and let the games begin. And what have you done to the tyres this year? They're different, aren't they? Yeah, we've um, all we've done, we've done a slight change to the construction of the tyre, but the campaign stayed the same as 2013. The, the feedback we was getting from drivers last year was the tyres were a bit too stiff or not compliant. So we put a lot more feel into the car, a lot more, so you could, the drivers can actually feel what the tyres doing under braking. You're boring me. <laughs> Go find somebody more interesting. <laughs> Number six is the circuits. The BTCC is like a travelling circus. We go to nine different circuits over ten rounds around the UK. First one being here at Brands Hatch, and we'll also come back here for the last round of the season for the championship finale. Number seven is previous champions, and appropriately, we've got seven previous champions on the grid this year. One of which being Alan Menu, and we were going to disturb Elaine, um, but unfortunately he's sleeping because he's an old boy and he needs his rest now. <laughs> Number eight is the race format. And so the way the BTCC format the races is makes it even more exciting. You qualify, that sets your grid for race one. Race where you finish in race one determines where you start race two. Race three they'll pick a number out of the hat and that could be anywhere between six and ten and they'll reverse the grid putting the slow boys at the uh, front and the quick boys at the back. Number nine so the NGTC regulations stood for next generation touring car they were introduced three years ago now they are just the touring car regulations but what they do is give us standard control parts so every car on the grid basically has the same chance of winning everybody's got the same kit and that also adds to the closeness of the racing. And finally, number 10, and most importantly, Sherman. My NGTC Audi A4 British Touring Car. Flames always look cool, don't they?